Hi, in today's video I want to show you the way you can stack multiple transitions. You can apply this method to any other effects too, not only transitions. So we've got in the timeline two photos and we want to apply a transition to it. In this example I will use my transitions available on my coffee page. So if you like it and want to support my channel, feel free to get them. So let's say we want to apply my 3D cube transition. This is how it looks. Let's make it longer. So in order to add another transition to the existing one, we can use Compounds Clip. All you need to do is select both clips with the transition you have, right click and New Compound Clip. You can name it if you want. So now in our timeline, it looks uh, as one clip with no transitions on it. To spice it up, let's add another transition of mine, one of the crash transition, maybe that one. So I will put the playhead right a couple of frames after the 3D transition starts and split our clip Ctrl B. Okay. So I want the crash transition starts exactly when the 3D transition is starting, so I have to extend it. Okay, so now the crash transition is added to the 3D transition. Let's add one more. At the end of the 3D transition maybe. So as before, select all, new compound clip. Cut it. But this time let's use Crash Transform, my favorite one. I will align so it starts when the 3D transition ends. OK. In the inspector you can fully customize the transition. I will change Jitter Z and, trans and Translation Z control. So it looks more like this. Let's create another compound clip, just for fun. Usually don't make more than 3 max 4 compounds clip if you don't want the Da Vinci crash too often. It works already really slow as you see. It will probably crash. No, but it's really really slow now. So right about here let's add another transition, this time jump out. Let's make it shorter, 10 frames. And let me increase overall strength control. So it should add even more dynamism. Playback is slow already because of all these uh, compounds clips. So you would probably need to render it to check how it looks in real speed. But what if you want to make some adjustments on the first 3D transition? This is actually quite simple. In the current open folder in Media Pool, you should see all your compounds clips. If you name them, it's even easier to know which one is containing which effect. In this case, it's Compound Clip 3. Right click and choose Open in Timeline. If you don't see Timeline tabs, you can enable them here. Just make sure you have Display Stacked Timelines checked. So if you make any changes in this timeline, for example, I will increase the scale and Y rotation. Once done, you can close the timeline by clicking this little X. So all the corrections should be applied to our final composition. And as you see, it is. And that would be it for today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. All those transitions are available on my coffee page shop. So far there are jump transition, press transitions, effects, 3D and glitch. Hope you're gonna enjoy them, thanks and see you in the next one!